a luminous flame is a burning flame which is brightly visible. Much of its output is in the form of visible light, as well as heat or light in the non-visible wavelengths. An early study of flame luminosity was conducted by Michael Faraday and became part of his series of Royal Institution Christmas Lectures, The Chemical History of a Candle. Luminosity In the simplest case, the yellow flame is luminous due to small soot particles in the flame which are heated to incandescence. Producing a deliberately luminous flame requires either a shortage of combustion air or a local excess of fuel. Because of this dependency upon relatively inefficient combustion, luminosity is associated with diffusion flames and is lessened with premixed flames. The flame is yellow because of its temperature. To produce enough soot to be luminous, the flame is operated at a lower temperature than its efficient heating flame. The color of simple incandescence is due to black body radiation. By Planck's law, as the temperature decreases, the peak of the black body radiation curve moves to longer wavelengths, that is from the blue to the yellow. Other factors, particularly the fuel chemistry and its prevalence for forming soot, have an influence on luminosity. The Victorian chemist, Edward Franklin, studied luminosity in flames and discovered that their luminosity also increased with pressure. Bunsen burner one of the most familiar instances of a luminous flame is produced by a Bunsen burner. This burner has a controllable air supply and a constant gas jet. When the air supply is reduced, a highly luminous, and thus visible, orange safety flame is produced. For heating work, the air inlet is opened and the burner produces a much hotter blue flame. Combustion efficiency Efficient combustion relies on the complete combustion of the fuel. Production of soot represents a waste of fuel and may also be a problem for its buildup around jets and burners. Burners are thus usually designed to produce a non-luminous flame. Oil lamps, lamps for illumination rather than heat may use a deliberately luminous flame. A more efficient method overall uses a mantle instead. Like the incandescent soot in a luminous flame, the mantle is heated and then glows. The flame does not provide much light itself and so a more heat-efficient non-luminous flame is preferred. Unlike simple soot, a mantle uses rare earth elements to provide a bright white glow. The color of the glow comes from the spectral lines of these elements, not from simple black body radiation. Flame testing When performing a flame test, the color of a flame is affected by external materials added to it. A non-luminous flame is used, to avoid masking the test color by the flame's own color. References